We've navigated to our pre-built cars that we've created as custom Asset Forge collection assets earlier on. Now we'll explore exporting from Asset Forge into Unreal Engine using both the OBJ and FBX file formats. Let's bring in the first blue car vehicle, center the asset, then we'll export to OBJ, merging the blocks selected. Though in this asset's case, it does not matter as the asset blocks have all already been merged together. We will then save the OBJ file as blue car. Next, we'll switch and export the FBX format. Save the FBX file as blue car as well. Now remove the blue car from the scene and drag and drop the red truck into the editor. We will follow the same process, 3D model, OBJ, merge the blocks, and save that file to export our red truck to OBJ and FBX formats. Then export to the FBX format with the same red truck file. Name. To test multiple mesh export, I'll build a quick train locomotive body with our previously built asset blocks from Maya. Quickly build out a body and make sure the materials all match. Then export as an OBJ without merging the blocks and name it locomotive unmerged. Then export still as an OBJ, but this time we'll merge the blocks and name the file locomotive merged. Lastly, let's export our locomotive in the FBX file format and name it locomotive. Now open up Unreal Engine. For this import test, I've created a new Unreal Engine project using the vehicle example starter project. This way we have another asset which we can compare our scaling to. Right click in the content browser, import, and select our first file blue car OBJ. For our first pass, we won't change any of the default import settings, though we know we will need to change the uniform scaling later because Asset Forge's scale is one cubic centimeter for each primitive block. Click import and you will notice a few errors such as smoothing groups and specifically the warning about mesh size, which is fine as we'll fix it later. Once imported, open the mesh and you'll notice how small the mesh is that was imported. To fix this, we'll delete the imported object along with its materials. Create a new folder for our future test imports, then re-import our blue car asset. This time we know that the scale of our environment, so we'll set the uniform scale to 150. Now note that the scale for your game will depend on existing assets as well as your workflow. I'll also change the X import rotation from 0 to 90. This way, our car will be properly oriented. You'll get the normal warning message about smoothing groups, which we can ignore. Dragging our new asset into the scene, we can see our asset matches the existing asset scale and size. This is perfectly good for program art or even stylized game assets. Do the same for our red truck asset. Setting import uniform scale to 150. Again, ignore any warnings about smoothing groups for now. Bringing our red truck into the scene as well, we see that we have another properly scaled asset that we now can use within our game. Now, how might we handle the OBJ asset files that are not merged together? Unmerged assets can be very useful depending on your game. If it has cosmetic customization objects, for instance, that might swap in and out on the base object. Importing the locomotive merged OBJ asset, it will import just like our car assets as one single asset object. We're importing our locomotive unmerged OBJ asset. We get our individual asset blocks. This way we can build out our locomotive bodies in the game engine. This can also be useful if you're creating environment building blocks that you can then piece together and quickly build out or block out your level design. Keep in mind that you want to optimize your assets from Asset Forge. You may want to bring them into a different 3D CAD program like Maya or Blender to clean up the geometry and delete any unused faces. Let's focus on importing our FBX asset files now. Import the blue car FBX asset file first and leave the default import settings. Compared to the OBJ imports, the default FBX files will be overly massive in scale, but they will have the correct X orientation. With some trial and error, I found the proper FBX import uniform scale to be approximately 0.15 for this environment. This scales our asset down to the relative scale of the existing vehicle in the scene. Now we'll import the locomotive FBX asset file, setting the uniform scale to 0.15. Remember that the FBX export did not have the option for grouping or merging the mesh bodies. 
and thus will import all the mesh bodies as separate asset entities. Hopefully this gave you a great overview of how to incorporate Asset Forge into your art asset pipeline and some of the pitfalls you may run into. Keep in mind that you want to optimize your assets from Asset Forge. You may want to bring them into a different 3D CAD program like Maya or Blender to clean up the geometry and delete any unused faces. However, for programmer art, starter assets, and even 2D sprites, Asset Forge can be a great tool.